Hello, this is Nate Franzine, President of Ag Banking at First Dakota National Bank. Here at First Dakota, we're one of the largest ag lenders in the country. We take great pride in serving uh, farm and ranch clients across the Midwest. And uh, my team of ag bankers and I really strive to be more than just a source of money, but a source of um, expertise and a, a source of knowledge and a, and a resource that folks can lean on. Uh, the reason for this uh, recording today is to talk a bit about the drought that we are experiencing and the concerns of drought as we head into uh, this spring and uh, the ag operating cycle of 2022. Um, what do you do uh, with your ag lender when you're experiencing challenging times, uh, times like a drought? Uh, number one, I would say the biggest thing is to communicate with your lender um, frequently. Keep them abreast of the challenges you're experiencing. Uh, if you have a strong lending partner, they will have uh, information for you. They'll have knowledge to share with you. They'll try and connect you with other resources, programs available. And I, I can promise you, our team will certainly work hard to do that. The other thing I would say is just having a sounding board, someone you can talk to that uh, understands and appreciates the need for confidentiality is a big resource your ag lender you know, can be for you. Um, sometimes you just don't want to talk about financial hardship or financial challenges that you're experiencing with neighbors uh, or friends. Uh, your ag lender can certainly uh, serve that role for you. Uh, I can't emphasize enough that your self-worth is not your net worth. So uh, if you are experiencing some financial troubles, please don't make that too personal. Uh, certainly our financial well-being is very important to us all and, and we don't take that lightly, but we also know there is uh, life after a loss. There is life after uh, financial hardship. Uh, there's life after cows if you are uh, experiencing it in the worst of ways and need to reduce cow numbers or even uh, completely liquidate. Uh, hopefully that's uh, few and far between. Uh, hopefully you'll find options uh, between that, but uh, we are certainly here as ag bankers and ag lenders uh, serving the industry to, to help you through those times. So uh, again, I can't emphasize enough, just communicate. Uh, don't shut down. Please keep the lines of communication open and uh, not just First Dakota ag bankers, but ag bankers serving this region. I know uh, really do care. They want to be here and help you through it. And uh, I know I can speak for our team to say we will do everything we can uh, to work with you and to, to help you through those things. So best of luck. Um, hopefully uh, Mother Nature uh, helps uh, improve the situation as we head into spring. But if not, again, uh, uh, please reach out to resources you have uh, available to you and your ag banker is certainly one of those. Thank you.